following is an extract from Connect You, A Guide to Your Authentic Life by Elizabeth Mills. Amazon paper book ISBN 978-1-7333-2829-5-6 Embrace the now, call it fate, or divine timing, or stroke of luck. However you look at it, you and his book somehow found each other. You didn't need to be told you need or want to make a change in your life, nor did you need to be told how to do it. Intuitively, you know you may have a choice by the simple fact you are here reading this book right now. You are ready to acknowledge that choice. You made a choice to go big or go better. To level up, as the saying goes, you know intuitively there is something more that there there waiting for you. It's not. If not, you won't be here. Financially, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, which is it? Which areas of your life do you believe that by changing even just one thing, you could make the biggest impact to prove your life? Sadly, I'm sorry to say. Life doesn't work that way. It's never just one thing. It's never just one aspect. We want to believe that the journey to create change our lives is easy. A dirty little secret. And nobody wants to talk about Is It's not. It's also not hard. It's all, it is, however, messy. It can be ugly and downright painful. There is a no magical perfect or straight path we can walk to find ourselves in that in a in a place we want to be making the money we want in the career that we want with friends we want relationship we want etc 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 life is a series of tests obstacles and lessons all designed to help you understand yourself get clarity on what you want in order to make you uncomfortable this forces you to do one or two things stay where you are and hide or move the struggle to move forward happens when we avoid the mess, ignore the pain and shove our discomfort down. Let's face it, we want it to be easy. Let me share a story with you. One morning I found myself lying in my bed, staring out of my bedroom window. I was restless and anxious. And my legs kept thrashing around, almost uncomfortably. I felt helpless, confused, empty and stuck. I felt paralysed in my life, wondering why I felt so bad. I realised I'd been trying to run and hide my entire life, running away from me looked like this. Blame, dirging others, judging myself, shoving thoughts and feelings down deeper, overeating, punishing, punishing, or walking away from people in my life. I was fighting the same fight I'd been fighting for years. It was a mess. I was a mess. It hurt bad. Lying in that bed that bed that day, I had a vision. Maybe it was an angel. Maybe it was my higher self. Whomever it was, she said to me, Hey, you know, you just one You know you can step aside, stop fighting. That moment I saw myself take a step towards the that vision. My anxiety calmed a little. Though not fully. When the anxiety came back a few minutes later, this vision popped up again, the other side of me. Now step here, she said. So I did. I was getting out of the way of my fear, getting out of the way of my judgment, or guilt, or shame, or obstacles in this process, or getting out of my own way as well. As soon as I acknowledged this, my anxiety went away. I found a pa- moment of peace. Suddenly the tree outside of my window looked so much more vibrant and beautiful. It was gorgeous, the leaves were vibrant, with red and orange hues. What I wanted to do was lay there and stare at the tree, which had been there all along. In start at stare, starting at the, at the 
tree, I broke down and cried. I cried hard. Feeling helpless, broken, alone, trapped. I had to let myself feel that. Go there, go deep, in order to see the beauty right in front of me all along. What changed? I changed. I realised one thing. I was spending so much time reviving the past, past failures, past mistakes, past hurt, as letting it impact my here and now. That's... Then I realised that by holding so tightly to the past, I let that be my story over and over and over again, defining my every action and decision, even in the now. There's another dirty little secret we can't change the now. The now is only the now. For this instant, you blink and that now is gone. Suddenly, quickly, the now is the past. You cannot be, dis- cannot be destroyed or changed. It just keeps moving forward. You spend so much time stuck in our past and desperately trying to control the now, believing that we, by doing so, we all create a new outcome of our future. Instead of going within and learning new skills, instead of growing and evolving, instead of allowing ourselves to hit that rock bottom, feeling the pain, and setting up against the more forward, how often we do, how often do we? Grab that for the next drink. Go looking for a cake or cookie that will make us feel better. Punch the hit walls. Yell and scream. Isolate ourselves from other people. Scramble to do whatever it takes to rush. Push that pain that we're in away so we can live life to the fullest. This is the end of Abstract from Introduction. Book review. This book questions what you are and how you deal with life. It's written in the format of a journal, allowing you to work through sections at your own pace. You may find content activities, questions to help you think about where you are now in your life, where you want to go, the steps you need to take to get there. It starts to find yourself, understand the parts of you, to Take you truly, you, your own interventions of success. It's 190 pages, IBS BN number for dash 13, 978 dash 17332 82956. This has been excellently written by the author Elizabeth Mills. And I highly recommend it as a self-help group book. Five stars recommended by Ghost Mark Anthony Rains, Ghost Man Radio Station. This has been done permission with the done with the author's permission. Please check out Elizabeth Mills on her Amazon. page as Elizabeth A. Mills. She is an independent author, entrepreneur, podcast and coach on the mission to help others recognise and use their power to pivot. Thank you for listening.